Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. All right, I bought a few things. Uh, let's go ahead and start equipping them. Uh, they did have. Oh, right. I don't. I was testing something now. That's why he has a sleep sword. Um, so the blood spear um, boosts attack power up to 99, but you notice that uh, defense went down when I equipped something else. Anything else? The reason for that is that the Blood Spear actually reduces all your other stats by 10. So, I, I remembered that there was a reason why it wasn't all that great, um, besides the fact that if you attack undead with it, then they will get healed and you will take damage. Um, so, you know, um, I'm actually going to go with the, uh, the Flame Spear, which I just purchased pretty good. Doesn't reduce our stats. Not buying any new armor for Kane just yet. Uh, for Rydia, um, so I had a whip in my, uh, um, fat chocobo already. I, I wouldn't put it back. Um, I could go with the dancing knife. Uh, it's a pretty good boost, but the thing about the change staff is that it increases your, uh, uh, your wisdom, your intelligence, the, the, the stat that affects your black magic casting. So I'm going to stick with that for now. Maybe I'll pull out the dancing staff if I need to just do some, you know, if I want to have her do some damage without using uh, MP. Uh, the gold pin, which I had in the uh, Fat Chocobo, it's a very good piece of uh, uh, armor. Plus it increases uh, her, uh, the score for intelligence, uh, I mean, uh, wisdom intelligence, whichever one, whatever they're calling it in this translation. Uh, also purchased uh, some sage robes. They may modify things. I don't know. Uh, also the rune ring I picked up. So we'll go with those. Uh, now the main reason why I want to use the uh, gold pin on um, Rydia and not say the sage hat is because the sage hat actually increases your white magic casting stat. So we'll go with that. Uh, I already had a sage robe for you, apparently. Must have found that in the treasure chest. Oh, well. Uh, and we'll get a rune ring, which probably, uh, increases something. Let's, uh, let's check. 25, 15, 17, 13, So, um, willpower was 44, it's now 47, so. That is pretty nice, it does increase, uh, your willpower. Which is, again, the white magic, uh, casting stat. Um, Cecil's is only at 25. And I picked one up for Yang as well. So the Hellclaw poisons, Fairy Claw charms. Uh, I think the Fairy Claw might be uh, holy. I don't know if there's any element associated with the Hellclaw. I haven't noticed anything. Uh, the headband, I'm pretty sure, increases strength. Uh, what other items did I pick up? Uh, so, uh, I did get the uh, Mind Flare summon. So let's go ahead and use that. Rydia learned M Flare. And we actually are up to three lusty lo Lustful Lolly Ho magazines. So let's use one. Oh. Oh my. Phew! Yep, that's what it does. Alright, let's uh, explore the uh, towers a bit. We've got a dwarf axe. Um might be okay. Yeah. Let's see if I've got the tower things. Alright. Let's, uh, go up. Hello! King Yacht permits you to take what you want. Well, that's nice. Isn't that nice, everyone? Of course, there's very little here. Got a Bacchus wine. We take those, uh, secret passages. A power ring. That's not too bad. An 
Ether. An Elixir. And a Silver Hourglass. Alright, so that's in uh, that tower. Go outside uh, here. Hello? This side's clear, too! Are there many like Golbez on the overworld? Mm, not really. Golbez is gone! Uh, just for now, I'm sure. All clear! It's like you expected me to go out that side first. Nothing there. Hello? Take the treasure, it'll prove useful in the war against Golbez. Yeah, except, again, there's, like, nothing in any of these pots, except for one. Uh, let's see, which one is it? Right there? Another Bacchus wine. Naming way? What the heck are you doing up here? Alright, this is a little bit, uh, more of a confusing one. Got a high potion. Oh, goody, a high potion, since there's no doors there. We can go up here. Can't go over. We can go this way. How are we getting around here? That's a good question. Got an elixir. An ether. We can talk to Naming Way. Nope. Not going to change your names this time. A black belt. Let's see, your strength is 42. Thirty-nine, so the Kempo Gi increases it by a three. And the black belt probably increases it by five. 44, yep. So that's pretty nice. Also, probably shouldn't have bought this, but oh well. Power Ring. That also increases uh, strength by a bit. Uh, by four. So it's pretty nice. Have more things to store in the fat chocobo when I... Uh, Get back down there. All right. I think that's all the items that we can get here for now. Come out over here. Go back down. Hit up the fat chocobo. Smells like chocobos. Let's go ahead and give, um, I'm gonna keep the Blood Spear on, just in case I decide to use it. Give the, uh, magazine, give the Gaia gear, uh, I'll keep the Sleep Robe for now. Alright, given all those things. I bought some, uh, Blind Arrows as well. Let's see, all right. So, 77. We equipped the Dwarf Axe, it is 76. My defense goes up. But I think we'll stick with the uh, the Dwarf, I mean the uh, Flame Sphere. I might equip the Dwarf Axe if it uh, looks like that would be beneficial. Um, you know, dealing with uh, something that takes damage, uh, that gets healed by uh, uh, fire or something like that. Hello! Lally ho! Why is this part of the cavern singed? That's a good question. Oh, all the treasure chests are, are empty. The Tower of Babel has a weapon called the Super Cannon. Take care, Lolly! Uh, super Cannon? Super Cannon! Received a cottage, received a cottage, received a cottage. Well, thank you. That's actually uh, kind of helpful. Underworld monsters are strong. Be careful, Lolly. Nothing in that one. 
Let's see, Dwarven Base. Are there any uh, items here? I don't believe so. I'm brave, but you're braver! Because you fought dolls! Nothing there. Columbus may have left the tower, but Rubicante of the Fire, strongest of the Four Fiends, is still there. You know about the Four Fiends? Y you know I've uh, taken out three of them, right? Come back alive, Lolly! Don't overestimate your powers. Don't be afraid to retreat. That is always good advice. Our tanks will attract their attacks, to, so you can sneak in, Lolly. I'm going to take some of these treasures. Right. I forgot about this. Hmm. HP and MP restored. Probably could have used that rather than the inn. Oh, well. 600 gold down the, uh, down the drain. This is a pot of life, Lolly. Want a sip? I already did, actually. It's almost as if I have been here before. Alright, uh, let me pull out a map of the underworld, if I can find one. Where is it? Uh huh. Interesting. Apparently, uh, VGMaps.com does not have the Underworld, uh, map, unless I am just, like, completely missing it. Oh, well. It's not a big deal. Oh, come on, game. Goblin Cap. They probably aren't resistant to anything. Also, I will say that uh, down here is the there is a distinct um, uh, power increase on the enemies. I'll just pray for now. Nice. Why couldn't you have moved? Holy cow! I think it's still hit pretty hard. Prayer unanswered. Dang it. Just wanted a little bit of healing. Equipping a staff on Rosa could probably be a good thing for uh, her wisdom stat. Or willpower. whatever, Whichever one it is. The white magic one. Black Liz's. Got a preemptive strike at least. And you start to petrify. Probably just a little bit faster to use attacks rather than jumps. I don't think that the, uh, um... See, I don't want thunder, I want, uh, ice. Yeah, I don't think the pig really works well on uh, non-mammalian creatures. Probably could have equipped uh, Yang with the... Uh... Ice Claws, and that would make short work of them, but... Oh well. Uh, but yeah, the, there's a, difficult, a definite difficulty spike. Hey, Medusa Arrows. Those are pretty nice. Not that the enemies are necessarily difficult, but they definitely uh, hit harder down here. I mean, a goblin dealing uh, 105 damage is pretty substantial. Exactly which paths to take. Oh goody. Preemptive strike. Um You know what? Let's jump on that one. Uh, actually, Armadillo went down pretty fast. Yeah, you know what? 
I think Ice Claws are going to be really useful here. We haven't used this one before. Might take a while, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be very effective, but... Mind Blast. Actually, 1300 damage, not too bad. That was not bad at all, actually. I will definitely want an area of effect one uh, next time, however. We'll try out Shiva. Maybe. Unless, of course, we get through all these enemies first. Not as much damage as I would have expected from two Ice Claws there. You wanna... you wanna get Shiva off anytime soon, Rudia? No? Okay. Apparently not. <laughs> wow! Killed before the summon went off. Rydia leveled up. Got a Mithril Hammer. Not expecting that. I think we go up this way. Might be able to go up the other way, too. I don't know. It's actually not uh, as bad of a difficulty spike as I uh, remember. Actually, I probably should have. Yeah, I'll just do a jump. Yang can have extremely variable uh, damage. Bye, Kane! We're leaving you! Cecil leveled up. Ah, there are the uh, tanks. You know, and they're just shooting, blasting away, that sort of thing. Okay, let's go ahead and use a tent. I didn't use that, mu um, that much of my uh, MP or anything like that, but just kind of top it all off. Okay, so let me get to the proper... Uh, map here. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. I know you guys are fighting. We're going in. Okay. First things first. Let's look for some, uh, some treasures around. And first one is going to be over here. Ice arrows. It's not bad. Kind of tells you what we're going to be encountering. Marion and Evil Dolls. Ow. Yeah, Pig isn't really as, as good as... Uh, I would say Mini or, or Todar. Um, because you can still deal decent damage with uh, Pig. It's kind of like the, the Imp status in uh, Final Fantasy VI. You can still actually deal some decent damage. Uh, it doesn't like completely tank your strength and everything. More Ice Arrows. I 
Same construction as the Tower of Zot. And we'll turn the last one into a pig. Not sure if this stuff mi if, if uh, these effects can miss. You know, like I mean, they certainly can against uh, your characters, but against enemies, I think it's either gonna be like work or not work. But don't quote me on that. Flame dogs, bad puppies. This is not the best for uh, Cecil and Kane. Yes, you're gonna heal. You're probably gonna heal as well. Nope, just not do much damage. Come on, I wanna see Shiva. Let's see, you've taken a bit of damage already. Do a little bit of healing. That's pretty good healing. I'll have to keep in mind how much that heals during combat. I think they tend to heal a little bit more during combat than out of it. Diadust! I love the effect of this one. Kane leveled up. Yang leveled up. Got an ether. I don't remember it being quite so uh, cool in um, other games. It's just a really nice effect. A better retarget. It did. Good. Now you're a piggy. Who's up for some ham? Mm-mm, good. And use a fire weapon on it, and it's already roasted. Okay, up a level we go to the second floor. Uh, let's see. There is an item right over here. A beret. Let's see, I'm already actually, uh... Out of items. Let's see. It increases strength, it looks like. Yeah, so this is going to be something for Yang. Uh, it looks like it probably increases it, it the same amount that the uh, headband does. Alright, but it's better defense. Also, let's go ahead and get some more ice arrows in there. Okay, next item. Um... Actually, out here. We've got a little... got a couple of rooms here. Hi! Let's do Black Liz's. Wow, did you actually attack before, uh... Kane did? Wow, I was not expecting that. Oh, I should uh, rearrange these uh, spells. Let's try Blizzard, see how much damage that does. We should be weak to it. Eh, it's not much damage. Save some MP, though. Let's 
heal up Yang a little bit. So I have a feeling that there is, there are going to be monsters in this uh, chest. Let's see, monsters! Hmm, my memory, secure eye. So this can summon a creature. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. You can kill this thing before it can summon. It's not terribly likely to do so. Stone Golem. Nope. Ah, shoot. Wrong thing. Uh, I don't remember what this thing takes extra damage from, so let's just bio it. Oh. Well, that was a waste. Takes damage from ice. Alright, then for good measure, let's just thunder that thing. Holy cow! Oh, that thing does not, uh, take damage from, uh, um, lightning. So yeah, these things that can summon, um, they can be decent ways to get extra experience points. Let's go ahead and try bioing this thing, see how that works. Eh, just one. But it will take damage over time. Don't beam me. I'm not Scotty. Or Kirk, or whatever. And now it's dead. And so is that. Rosa leveled up. Learned Shell. And we got the Ice Spear. Very nice. Very helpful. All right, so we'll swap out the flame spear for the uh, ice, which is a bit more powerful. Probably going to be more monsters in here. I meant to get on Rosa game. Thank you. Also, Cecil could use some uh, healing. We should use his more often. Because he's not really going to be using it much during combat. Um, also, let's see. That's fine. All right. Monsters! Another secure eye. Let's go ahead and jump on it. Intruder alert. Go ahead and make your summon. Intruder alert. Alert. And it summons a chimera course, does not take much damage from fire. Let's go ahead and Blizzara it. Storing power. Oh, wow. That did not take much damage at all. It's a little bit of a waste. Summons another Chimera. have Yang attack. Might be a little bit faster. I don't think that change will work on this thing. Well, doesn't matter, because it's dead now. And we get the Ice Brand Sword. 
it's so weird that uh, the places that you know have enemies vulnerable to uh, certain things will give you those very same weapons. Thanks, game. Thank you. I, I appreciate you uh, give me a Black Liz combat right outside. You know, one step. One step. I like the sound effect of that. Just donk it. How do you petrify and then hit? Good damage there from Kane. Ah. Fire Knight and Flame Dogs. Let's go after that. Let's go after you. Probably should have had Kane jump on one of the back ones, actually. Uh, focus. Okay, actually, that was fine. I will probably find a uh, place to rest before uh, we get into any kind of boss fights. 4,600 damage from uh, Yang there. That's pretty good. Cecil leveled up. Eh. And we got a flame sphere. I'll take a second flame sphere. Pretty sure you can throw those when we get someone who can do that. Oh, come on, game. Yeesh. Enough with the uh, combats. Just want to get up to the next floor. Try changing them too. Of course, it doesn't help that I am uh, just obliterating them with uh, ice weapons. Okay, and here we are on the third floor. When we come back in the next episode, we will continue making our way up the Tower of Babel. See you then, everyone.